Mr. Bigley! Hey there, guys and gals, it's Gert Beagley with another episode of Gaming with Gert Beagley, and I'm once again starting a brand new series. This is a new horror series called Corpse Party. I've been looking forward to playing this game for so freaking long, and I've heard so many good things about this game and terrifying things about this game. Now, this is the PSP version of it called Corpse Party Blood Covered repeated fear i believe is the full title of it but it has japanese audio but english subtitles which is wonderful because i personally love the japanese audio and also you'll hear my voice once again still isn't 100 percent back yet so it's going to be very good that there's voice actors so that i don't have to do any voices for the most part i'm just gonna you know read along with the with the voices that come along but anyway so let's go ahead and get started with this game i told you guys i wanted to do more horror games and this is one that was suggested to me so let's go ahead and start the terror all right so this one apparently is a remake of a remake of the very first game in the series uh, so I played this one because I wanted the voices and I also wanted uh, the better graphics which I was told were in this one as well so hopefully it doesn't disappoint because like I said I've heard so much freaking hype about this game got some creepy piano music and creepy writing uh, Sachi is my pride and joy oh good she'd do anything for me man that that writing fades very quickly I don't think she ev even recognized, you can't move it on I me, mean, recognizes anything. I don't know what the hell the rest of that said there. But I still love her with all my heart. Well, that's sweet of you. Despite the fact that you made that really terrifying and awful. Oh, oh God. I, got, I have these freaking headphones on. And her voice just started popping up in my ear that I have goosebumps now because like it sounded like she was right freaking next to me when she said that it was a rainy evening after school just like this one hi little girl running down the stairs the kindly teacher lost her footing she tumbled and she fell and she died. Now, for those of you who are watching right now, you'll have to let me know if the text appears slow enough on the screen for you to just read it and I don't have to repeat it. Because I feel like that might be a waste of time if I don't have to read it every single time in English. Because if you guys are reading it, then, you know, it's it's easy. It's something that I can just zip through after she says her, her part and I've read it in my head. You've all heard the stories, no? Before Kisaragi Academy was built there, or here, there was another school on this property. Heavenly Host Elementary School, it was called. God, it's so weird because uh, it's surround sound, so the voice keeps shifting from ear to ear. I just punched my mic. But it keeps shifting from ear to ear. It's so creepy. It's like she's in the room with me. Such a horrible thing to happen. The principal was completely devastated. He cared for his school almost as if it were his own child, you see. But one thing led to another after the incident, and ultimately a decision was reached. The school was to be shut down. The principal was so stricken with grief over losing his precious child that on the day of its closure... Oh! He climbed up onto its roof and threw himself to his death. Or so the story goes. That's fucked up. This game is gonna be... From what I've heard, this game is really fucked up. So, I guess we have that to look forward to. Ooh, there was some freaking lightning... Or thunder. Oh, look at it! Look at Ayumi! Ayumi was the one who was talking. Look at her. She's so cute. People thought Heavenly Host was cursed, you see. This was just the latest of many deaths to occur there. That's why it was torn down. However, Oh, I just bur uh, burped. Sorry, guys. I got the burpees. They say the teacher who fell down the stairs still has no idea she's dead, even to this very day. And on rainy evenings like this, after our school days come to an end, some... Oh. Oh. 
She claims, or some claim she roams these darkened hallways still, believing them to be her own. Whoa, that's a creepy story. In fact, it's almost time for her to make her rounds just after 7 o'clock. That's when she appears, always accompanied by a sudden blackout that leaves the entire building dark as night. I love that Japanese people think that, like, knock-knock noises sound like kon-kon. I love that. It's just, it's awesome. Knock-knock. You'll hear from the blackness followed by the sound of the classroom door slowly sliding open. Ooh, creepy. And I'm sorry for those of you who are, like, Japan- Oh. <laughs> she just, like, yelled in my ear quick. Um, but for those of you who are, like, Japanophiles who absolutely love the Japanese language and hate that I'm talking over, I'm very sorry to you, but it's going to happen a little bit because, you know, I can't wait for the audio every single time. As her pale white face cuts through the stillness, her soft voice always echoes the same question. Is anyone still here? And then... Oh! <laughs> I was... Whoa! Buddy! Satoshi! Chill, bro. <laughs> And all the girls scream too. Wonderful, beautiful. It, it's a blackout. <laughs> Satoshi. Satoshi, pull yourself together. Don't scare us like that. But it was scary. Uh oh. I don't like this. This shouldn't be happening. Oh, this guy's the cool guy, you can tell. He's always like, this is so like anime tropes right now. Like the cool dude, the wimpy dude, the, the girls who all are sad and scared. Uh, <laughs> not bad, Shin Shinozaki. You had me going there for a minute. He's like got the deeper voice and the blonde hair. He's obviously like the punk fighter kid. Or at least, I could be completely wrong. I know this game has such a huge fandom, and there's probably people screaming at the screen like, No, you're wrong! You're a freaking idiot! And it could be. I could be a freaking idiot, but <laughs> we'll find out. It wasn't me. I've been standing right here the whole time. This is a real blackout. Uh-oh. Oh. It's gonna get creepy right off the bat. Awesome. Aw, she's so cute. Mayu. <laughs> Look at her little hair thing. Does anyone else hear that? Oh, man, I still can't do girl voices very well right now. Not that I ever could, but, you know, I can't do my standard girl voice very well because my throat is still so tight and so messed up from being sick that I can't... I My voice isn't back yet all the way. Sounds like it's coming from the music room. Oh, God, do we want to go to the music room? Uh-oh, what's happening? Uh oh, there's a knock-knock. Uh-oh, this game starts off with a bang. No way. First the blackout, and now the door? Oh, you wimpy Satoshi. Or Satoshi. I always get the inflection in Japanese names really wrong until I hear them out loud. And then I still get them wrong, and I just feel dumber because now I know the inflection. What the hell is wrong with you, Satoshi? Or er, Satoshi? Get a hold of yourself and get off of me. That's my chest. <laughs> Her boobies. <laughs> Uh, sorry, sorry, I couldn't see where I was grabbing. Nah, you wimpy. You're the guy. You should protect everybody. Whoa, uh-oh. What the fudge butts? I told you it was a bad idea to stay here so late and tell ghost stories. Hey, Satoshi, aren't you going to get the door? What? What? <laughs> Oh, uh, yeah, you tell him, Yoshiki. If I'm even saying that name right. Like I said, I always butcher Japanese names. It's actually good that I'll be able to hear them out loud because I won't butcher them quite as hard this way. The girls are all trembling in fear. Doesn't it just break your heart to see them like that? <laughs> so why don't you get the door? <laughs> well, it doesn't break my heart. That's cold, man. <laughs> Oh man, so I'm I, here I am, I'm little Satoshi. I can talk to people. Shiver. Oh man, everyone's freaked out. I want to get the door and something scary is going to happen. I know it's going to happen and I'm going to poo in my pants. I've been told already by my very good friend Joey the Anime Man. By the way, if you appreciate the Japanese stuff a lot more, then go over to his channel. He's doing, um, he's doing Corpse Party 
Blood Drive, I believe. The Whichever one's the latest one. And I believe he also did uh, number two and Book of Shadows. Whatever. There's like so many games. There's a thousand iterations. And like half of them are remakes of other games in the series. But go check out his freaking series. He's amazing. He does dual uh, Japanese and uh, English so what will happen is he'll have the Japanese audio and he'll put up the English translation of games that haven't yet been translated into English, which is really awesome. It's because he's a dual speaker. Oh, Dix. Is anyone still here? Uh, go home, children. Uh, oh. Yeah, dude, my reaction too. Get the fudge away from <laughs> He fell down. Oh, it's a girl, you bitch. Oh, is she a teacher too? What a bitch. <laughs> Miss Shishido. Hehe, <laughs> did I scare you? Yui sensei. <laughs> Miss Yui? Sensei! Oh, <laughs> hey, Teach. <laughs> so they love each other, apparently. Shinazaki. Hey. Oh, they high fived. Oh, they were in on it. All right. I call that a rousing success. Oh no, here's the happy music. Are these girls twins or something? They're talking at the same time. <laughs> Man, we've been had. <laughs> Your timing couldn't have been more perfect. <laughs> I wasn't a student here too long ago myself, so when it comes to the seven wonders of Kisaragi High, I'm pretty well versed. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Satoshi. <laughs> <laughs> I thought Sheik's reaction was priceless, but yours was on a whole different level altogether, Mo Mochida. <laughs> it was pretty impressive. I could never hope to compete with that. Ah, uh, so they're all friends, so I'm glad that the tension broke because... It, this seems like it's um, going to be more of a reading experience than an interactive one at first. I know that a lot of people have told me that it starts off a lot of the scenes with sort of visual uh, novel elements, which obviously it is here. So it's really cool. I love the presentation so far. It's really very pleasant to look at and listen to. Mm-hmm. Mashida's always got the best reactions. I just love it when my scares are so thoroughly effective. It's simply delicious. Wow, so she's sadistic. <laughs> he even says it. <laughs> Who ever heard of a class representative with such a sadistic streak anyway? <laughs> Sorry about that, Mochita, but I can't deny your reaction was pretty amusing. <sighs> All pranking aside, though, I ran into a rather adorable individual in the hall who's come to see you. Huh? I guess I don't have to repeat any of the times that they're like, huh? And all the translation is, is huh? I probably don't have to repeat that. <laughs> what are you standing ar around out there for? Come on in, he's right here. Okay. Oh. Aw, she's cute. Yuka. Hello, everybody. Yuka, <laughs> Yuka, what are you doing here? Oh, oh, it's her, it's her little, or her, her big brother. Oh my God, I, um, it's 4:30 in the morning right now. Actually, it's five in the morning. I just looked down at the clock. I was doing some sound testing, so time slipped me by. So I'm a little bit groggy. I'm a little bit loopy, and obviously my commentary is maybe not A grade tonight. But I'm very sorry that the series is kicking off with that. Hopefully, it improves as time goes on. Big brother. Oh, she hugged him. That was so cute. <laughs> Seems Moshida forgot his umbrella this morning. So little Yuka here has come all this way to deliver it. <laughs> oh, yeah. I guess I did. Sorry about that, Yuka. Thanks. Aw, <laughs> she's adorable. Is she from the junior high? Oh! <laughs> nice to meet you. My brother's always like this. Always really kind, I mean. Aww. <laughs> Everyone thinks she's so cute, because she is. I don't feel like my manlyhood at, is at all risked when I say that she's adorable. Anyone who sees that little girl, that is adorable. <laughs> 
had no idea you had such a cute little sister, Satoshi. Uh, really? I never told you? You never said a word. <laughs> you sure do love your big brother, don't you? <laughs> I sure do. Huh? Uh, seems like she's met Kishinuma before. Kishinuma? Oh man, I don't know how to say that name. <laughs> hey Naomi, looks like you've got yourself a rival, eh? <laughs> I'm sure I don't know what what you're talking about. Oh! <laughs> she's like, shut the hell up, nobody's supposed to know. I swear this mouth of yours says the craziest things. <laughs> Oh my god, this is just like an anime episode. This is great. Alright everybody, it's past seven. Isn't it about time you all get ready to head home? Oh. Uh-oh, what's wrong? <laughs> Aw, do we have to... Do we have to? Shouldn't we clean up all the Red Bean Cafe stuff first? It'd be a shame to leave so soon. Yeah, with a classroom like this, it almost seems like we could hold another culture festival tomorrow. <laughs> oh, Japanese culture with all their fun school festivals and things like that. It'd be really cool if they did that stuff in America. Like, we'll occasionally have, I know, like, back at least when I was in school, which was a thousand million years ago, because I'm so old, but uh, there were... So few festivals and like carnival type things that kids got to do or, or throw or hold uh, that, you know, there wasn't a ton of mingling. And I, I really love that about Japanese schools as it seems the culture there really encourages classrooms to sort of form friendly rivalries and also just bridge friendships. That's it's just cool to me. That's very awesome. Isn't that what you're, you were supposed to be doing here in the first place? You promised me this room would be ready to go by the time I got here, as I recall. <laughs> well, it's getting late. How about you leave it for now and come in early tomorrow? <laughs> I also love uh, in anime how they say yes. Uh, that, I mean, like, I know that it's not said that way typically on the street, but it's always hilarious to hear it in, like, video games and anime. Like, hi! Like, they're, like, whining it. <laughs> Suzumoto, I know how hard it is to say goodbye, but... I wish you the best of luck at your new school. I know you'll do just fine. Oh, so she's leaving, Mayu. Aw. That's sad. Aw. Look at her. She's so cute. Oh, so they're not they're not twins, they're just friends. Won't be the same around here without you, Suzume. I know you, Suzum Suzumoto. You'll make new friends in no time flat. I'm sure of it. And it's not like you're moving that far away. Come winter break, we'll all make sure you come. we come visit. <laughs> yeah, totally. Don't look so glum. We'll see you again real soon. We're friends forever, after all. Aw, how cute. You guys. Aww. Adorable. Hey, brother. Is that girl transferring to a new school or something? Uh, yeah. Today's culture festival was her last day. Aww. <laughs> Aww, that's so cute. That's breaking my heart. Thank you so much, all of you. Too bad tragedy is about to strike and kill them all or something. And with that, guys, I think I'm actually going to end the episode here. I know that nothing really happened besides us getting an intro to the characters a little bit, but it's, it's fun already. I love the art style. I love the uh, voice acting and the audio and the music and everything in this game so far is really, really just pleasant. And I know it's going to get less pleasant in the sense of the environments and the death and the evil and the monsters and whatever the hell's in this game. They're going to come rushing at us very soon and we're all going to poop our pants. But in the meantime... 
let's just breathe in how beautiful this game is already. But anyway, guys, this is my very first PSP series of all time. I hope that you enjoyed this episode, and let me know if you enjoy this series. Like I said, also let me know if I should read the English uh, after they're done talking in Japanese, or should I start it in the middle of them talking Japanese, or should I just stay silent and we'll just listen to the Japanese together and how beautiful it is, and I'll make my commentary whenever I feel like it, and we'll just read along. Uh, let me know that in the comments. It would be really, really helpful. If you guys enjoyed this episode, though, please be sure to hit the like button, share the video, and favorite it. Also, be sure to subscribe to me if you guys haven't already. For those of you who have, thank you so much for all of your support. You guys are the best in the world. I love every single one of you, and as always... It was great seeing ya. Bye bye. Go eat the spider, and then something good will happen, I'm sure. We'll probably evolve some venom or something that we can use against the skunk. These games are so funky because they're like, you know, they have this weird priority on cartoony gore, but at the same time, the, the puzzles are really clever, and I dig that about this game. So we just grew a huge ass. We got twerkable butt here. And now we're gonna go twerk on this skunk.